Ayun. Dito sa Biskaya. Bab, ngayon naman, January. Para po, i-share namin yung aming conversion story because kami dalawa makasawa ang mga dating protestante. Ako po ay pastor sa South Korea for five years in Exxon City. Marami po ako na-convert doon ng mga katoliko sa simbahan ko. Ang pangalan ng simbahan is Mary O. Rocklode or Chris Vickerman Church in the Jewish church. So, kaya I speak a little Korean. I understand Korean. Only a little. Ano yung museo? Kumapsubida, gano'n. Di ba, you love watching telenovela, Korean telenovela? Di ba? Uso ba yan dito sa Solano? Sa Cebu Uso. Kami po ay mga Bisaya. Taga Cebu po kami. Sino po may Bisaya ba dito? Lahat kayo ay mga taga Solano. O mga Ipugaw. Whatever. So, ako po ay dating pastor at may sarili po akong simbahan sa Cebu City. Ako po ay isang pastor doon for 12 years. Pero at the end of the day, ay nagkatuliko na. Bakit po? By the way, sino po ba dito ang protestante? Taas po may protestant. Born again. Born again. Oh, ano pangalan si Bahan, brother? Wesleyan. Wesleyan? GLY na. GLY? Ano ba yun ha? GL, GLY, Jesus, Jesus Lord. Lord. Jesus loves you. Ah, Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you. you. Oh. Jesus loves you. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Okay, Maria. Amen. So yun po, as a Catholic, we go around Philippines from Apari, Kalayan Island, to Sambuanga, Sibugay, to the North East. Our language that we use while we preach and share the God as well is Tagalog. Kayo dito mga Ilocano, diba? Ang lingwahe nyo Ilocano ba? Ha? Or Tagalog? Tagalog din? Sige, maganda Tagalog. Kasi ang lahat naman ay nakaintindi ng Tagalog, diba? Kahit sa Binggit, pagpupunta ka sa Binggit, mga tao doon marunong din mag-Tagalog. Kasi pag wala ang tilt Tagalog, delikado tayo hindi tayo magkaisa. But because of our national language, we can understand each other. Amen? So ako po yung magtatagalog. Hello? Hindi ako mag-ilokano kasi hindi ako namin mag-ilokano. I was converted to the Roman Catholic Church for some reason. Isa-isahin ko. Bakit po? Historically proved that there is no other church that was before 15th century. It was the Holy Roman Catholic Church. The Protestant exists only during 15th century. It was through Martin Luther. Martin Luther was a monk. Siya po ay isang pari. Lumabas siya. At siya po ay nagkaroon ng sariling simbahan. Ang tawag doon is Lutheran Movement. So it was 15th century. And then later on, dahil ang kanyang grupo ay nagkawatak-watak, nalibayin, may lumabas at nagiging Lutheran. Pagkatapos, mayroon namang tinatawag na mga evangelicals, mga Baptists. So, we need to say that galing kay Martin Luther ang pagkawatak-watak, division, division. Hanggang ngayon, maraming mga born naging Christian ngayon, divided, 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 divided. That's reality. Which I came from before, in Cebu City, yung simbahan ko is a product of division. And what happened to my church at the time was divided also. And you cannot deny the fact that this group of denomination, this religion, is a product of division, 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 and division. In Korea itself, marami Presbyterian doon. From Incheon Airport, International Airport sa Incheon, sa Seoul. Going to my place, which is Exxon City, then from Exxon to Busan, facing Japan, lahat po makikita ko doon mga simbahang Presbyterian. Sabi ng aking mga elder, Brother Pastor Bo, this is the product of division. And that is reality. Hello? Amen? Kaya kung tingnan mo ngayon, if you are just concerned about religion and history, 
and even denomination. Tingga mo ang baptis ngayon. Mayroong Bible baptis sa Cebu. Mayroong nag-away-awayan ang Bible baptis. Nawasak, lumabas ang isang elder, nagkaroon siya ng sarili niyang siban, ang pangalan ng kanyang siban, First Baptist. Nagkaway-away ang mga First Baptist, lumabas man yung isang elder, nagkaroon ng bagong pangalan, ang tawag naman ni Southern Baptist. May Second Baptist, mayroon naman pinatawag na Community Baptist, Grace Baptist, doon sa Malabing, Biscaya, papuntang Kasibu, mayroon doon malaki siban, ang tawag doon is Vibrant Baptist. Billy Grado Vibrant. Ang kulang na lang. Mayroon pang Epicenter Baptist. Nadaanan namin. Akala ko may lindol kasi Epicenter Baptist. Hello? Ang kulang na lang nila is Karatido Baptist. Lahat na lang nandun. Ang Baptist, Pentecostal Baptist, Community Baptist, Grace Baptist. But if we were going to ask them about their doctrines and faith, hindi sila nagkaisa. Hiwalay, hiwalay. Iba-iba ang kanyang doktrina at saka paniniwala. Mayroon naman Pentecostal Baptist. We study the Word of God. They interpret the Bible. Kaminyotically, they dance, they praise and worship. According sa mga conservative Baptist, hindi yan pwede. May mga ganyan. Kaya po, kung tingnan mo, ang mga simbahan ngayon nagkawatak-watak because of self-interpretation. Halimbawa, dito sa area, ang daming grupo ng born again. Mayroon pang mga hindi registrado sa Security Exchange Commission. Mga kulurong mga tao. Sa Cebu, ang daming religion. Ako mismo, nakatayo ako ng Cyril Isiban last 2003. Ang pangalan ng Aki Isiban sa Cebu is Sonship of Jesus Christ Church Incorporated. Our practices is like Pentecostal. We speak in tongues, we dance, we praise and worship. Kompleto po ako sa banda, lahat, nandun lahat yung or- orkestra ko. Ang dami ng member ko. All, all, around 500 members at the time, mga kapatid. Karamihan, mga katoliko na convert ko kasi madali lang makonvert ang katoliko kasi kulang sa kalaman at hindi na basa na Biblia. Kaya nandito kami ngayon as a Catholic in order to help you to understand our Catholic faith. Kaya nag-usap-usap kami ni Padre Kalina, Time will come, pagbalik namin dito. Tuturuan namin kayo on how to defend our Catholic faith. Lahat ng mga teaching na binato nila sa atin, mayroon tayong pang depensa that is based in the Bible. Yan ang ginawa ko dati. Tinutulig sa ako ang Katoliko para lang marami ang kumakonvert na Katoliko at aalim sa ating simbahan. For first three years as a pastor in Cebu, mayroon po akong 500 na convert na mga katoliko. In Korea, there were around 300 Catholics na convert ko sa aking siman sa Ering Yong Rock Church doon sa Exxon City, mga kapatid. So, grabe talaga ang ginawa ko. But when time come, at you know, it was really arranged by God. God give me understanding when I read history. At not only history, in, in the Bible also, it's very clear, it's a crystal clear that it says, sabi ni Pedro, sabi ni Jesus kay Pedro, to his Petros, it's over a pitram, e de pecabo iglesia miyam, de porte el perino hombre balibong, adverso miyam. Alam ba ninyo yun? Alam nyo? Pariho tayo. Ang sinabi ng English, sa English mo, Thou art Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church. Sino ang owner sa church? Jesus Christ. I will build my church. Even the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. Tanong, what kind of church is this? Sino ang nagkatag si Jesus Christ? Ito bang church na ito ay nasisira? Hindi. Kasi sino nagsabi si Jesus Christ? Ang tanong, nasisira ba? Nagiba ba? Nagkotak-kotak ba ang simbata ko nito? Hanggang ngayon, ang katuloy kong buhay na buhay pa. Ano? Hitler wants to destroy the Catholic Church. Bonaparte wants to destroy the Catholic Church. Hitler, pinatay niya ang mga katoliko. Mention names of great leaders during the time. Mussolini wants to destroy the Roman Catholic Church. Even Tatay Digo Duterte, he said, last time, 25 years from now, the Catholic will be wiped out. Mamatay na lang siya. Buhay pa ang katoliko. Ano? Bakit? Sabi ni Jesus, I will build my church Even the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. Tingnan niyo yung ibang simbahan ngayon. 
nagkawatak-watak at sisira. Is that from the Lord? No, it's not. Because the church of God will be intensified, will be magnified, ay talagang lalago at lalago at marami na kami ngayon na mga pastor convert to the Roman Catholic Church because we know what is truth, we know reality based on the Bible. Kahit yung Google search nyo, may cellphone kayo, itanong nyo, who is the founder of Iglesia ni Cristo? Ang isagot sa Google search, Felix Manalo, founded last 1914. Sabi nila, kami ang tunay at totoong Iglesia ni Cristo na tatag 1914. Sabi nila, mas mabuti pa ang Ajinomoto Bichin na tatag 1906. They shout that we are the true church. They claim the book of Romans 16.16 na ang bawat membro ng Iglesia ni Cristo ay maghalikan na banal na halik. Greetings! They claim that one. But when in fact, hindi sila yon. Yon ang mga believer ni Jesus during that time. Ang hinig pa lang, Romans 16.16. Therefore, it was the Roman Catholic in Rome at that time na magbanal halikan or greetings to each other. And even in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 6 to 7, sabi ni Paul, Paul says, I'm so delighted, I'm so happy that your faith spread all over the world. It was the first century Christian. Paul, St. Paul declared that the spreading of the gospel at that time nangyari na sa panahon ni Pablo in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. Before that exists among mga protestante, mayroon ang spreading of the gospel all over the world at the time. Hello. That's the reason why I embrace the Catholic. There's nothing wrong with the Catholic. It's only a person who says against the Catholic, you lang mga tao may problema. But if you study the doctrine of the Catholic, wala problema. We don't worship idols and images. We just only venerate and respect. Hello. Pero ano sabi ng tagaibang sikta? Sinambaro natin ang mga idols at saka mga ribos. No way! Because the Catechism of the Catholic Church sinasabi doon that our worship is due to God alone. Alone! Latreya. To the Blessed Mother Mary, ang ating gagawin is respect. Hyper dulia. Sa mga anghel, sa mga propeta, dulia. Guys, Saint Joseph, bruto dulia. It's a respect. Hello. Kaya ako bilang isang pastor doon, ngayon na ay katuloy ko strongly devoted Catholic. We go around, spread the gospel, spread the goodness. Depende sa mga pare mag-invite sa amin. Kasi may mga topic tayo. Last December 6, we went to Dalak in Cebu. Ang topic ko is about the second coming of Jesus Christ. What are the signs? Yes? Ano? Yes. Make a date. <laughs> Sige. So, yun po mga kapatid. No? We have different topics to share. Salvation? Yes, we will talk about salvation. The doctrine of spiritual regeneration is all Catholic. The characteristic of faith is all Catholic. Pero inangkin namin mga po ng gini, na kami raw ay may toro na ganito. But we found, nandyan niya sa kasi the downfall of men to Adam and Eve, it is all in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Kaya ngayon kami, pinuntahan namin ang bawat sulok ng mundo, sulok sa Pilipinas, in order to give encouragement. Kasi ang problema natin mga Katoliko sometimes, most of the times, karamihan sa mga Katoliko, hindi natin alam kung sino ang sinamba natin, kahit sino-sino na lang. At maraming mga katuliko na kulto. Hindi naman lahat, ha? Maraming katuliko na practice ng mga superstitious belief. Kung yun pa, pinabawalan yan sa Biblia, kapatid. At pinabawalan sa ating simbahan, katuliko, sa katikisim of the Catholic Church. Kaya, sige mo na. Kaya po kami ay nandito. Kaming dalawa ng asawa ko. Bukas naman, at least mayroong siyam na 
section for the Hanamin. We will start at 7.30 and we will end at 4 to 5. Ang last po, ang talk namin sa mga teacher at saka sa mga staff ng school at saka church. Kayo ba ay happy na may pastor ng katoliko? Sino mo ba nito ang katoliko? Taas kamay. Okay. Si brother lang ang born again, born again brother. Jesus loves you. I'm not against with the born again Christian kasi galing ako dyan. Kasi karamihan sa mga born again Christian, sila ang nagbasa ng Biblia. Pero hindi pa huli lahat. Tayo din mga katoliko, pwede tayo magbasa ng Biblia. Kaya, inupisahan ni Lord to us, to you. Because God wants you to be saved. Hello? Kasi ang tingin namin sa mga katoliko dati, ang mga katoliko ay pupuntang impyerno. Which is not true. Because as long as there's breath and there's life, you cannot judge the person. Kahit gaano ka kasama ang katoliko, but at the end of your life, at the last breath, you will say, sorry Lord, then you will enter into the paradise of God. That's why we never judge. We never condemn. Now, na ako'y katoliko, dati, I always condemn you. Pati yung Pope nyo, Antichristo, yun ang sabi ko dati. But when it comes to the Bible, if you read 1 John chapter 2, verse 22, makita natin dito kung sino ang Antichristo. Who is the liar? The liar is the one who denies the Father, the Son, as well as the Holy Spirit, is called the Antichrist. Tanong, ang Papa sa Roma Antichristo ka? Hindi. Bakit? Because they deny God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. That is our teaching. But the Antichrist deny God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So the Pope is not qualified to be the Antichrist. But there is someone else to be called an Antichrist soon will appear to planet Earth. And that Antichrist, galing sa Middle East, hindi Italy. Kasi ang Biblia is Middle East centric. At sabi pa namin dati as a pastor before, na ang Vatican City ay trono ni Satanas. Kung basahin mo ang Biblia, the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 12 to 13, sabi doon ng isang anghel, to the angels of the church in Pergamum, makinig kayo, to the angels of the church in Pergamum, I know where you live, where Satan has his throne. Pergamum, where Satan has his throne. Ang tanong, ang Pergamum ba ay Vatican? Hindi. Pero marami ngayong bulagin, hindi sa'yo, brother, sa Cebu, marami mga bulagin sisigaw, Catholic Church is a Pergamum Church, hindi ang Pergamum Church. Kasi ang Pergamum is refers to Turkey. The ancient name of Turkey is Pergamum. How come nagiging Vatican? Because they don't read the Bible, because they don't know how to interpret the Bible, based on its context, its context ang tawag namin dyan sa theology, hermeneutically, the Bible should be interpreted. Because the Bible interprets itself. Ang problema ngayon, maraming grupo mga leader ngayon, mga pastor, hindi naman lahat, they interpret the Bible according to their own interpretation. Diyan, nagkawatak-watak ang simbahang kutisan. Hello? Hello? Kayo ba'y masaya? Itong ginawa namin, patikim pa lang to. Time will come na mga youth mag-gather dito. I believe in that. We'll study more about the Holy Spirit. How to be regenerated by the power of the Holy Ghost inside in our life. How to rekindle the fire. How to be changed. How to be baptized with the power of the Holy Spirit. Hindi ang labag sa, sa turo ng simbahan katolito. Amen? Kaya po ako namulat. Kasi sabi ng aming libro, The Prophetic Faith of Our Father, and the author is Edwin Lewis from, from Germany, and it was spread all over Europe, and even in our, sa country natin, sa, sa nation natin, na ang katuruan doon na ang po talaga ay Antikristo, ang Vatican ay puno sa si, si Satanas. Kung basahin mo ang Biblia, you speak all lies. Hello? And it is only us Catholic can trace back our history. Galing tayo kay ang unang papa natin, in the book of Matthew chapter 16, ang sabi ni Jesus, Peter, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind her on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose her here on earth will be lose in heaven. It was the authority that God gave. Because he is speak about authority. Binigay niya kay Pedro. Kaya we believe, we acknowledge that Peter is the first pope. When Peter, Pope Peter dies, sinong sumunod? Pope Linus, Pope Anacletus, 
Pope Clemens, Pope Ibaristos, Pope Sucronios, hanggang umabot kay Pope Francis. At ang sabi ng mga tagalong sikta na ang founder ng Simbahan ng Katoliko ay wala iba si Constantine. Ang lalo! 